Mew will take over at the 50 yard line. Northwood come out in the second half here. They just don't look ready to play. The intensity level is really favoring Northern Michigan. Here's the handoff to Boussois, and he's going to be taken down for a loss. Leroy Goulborn with the tackle. Well, Goulborn coming back, he's the leader of this defense. Led the team last year in tackles. It was a nice play by no linebacker on that one. And now it's second and 12 for NMU. Rolls out. He throws it, looking for Wells, and Wells comes down with a great catch. That was Fred's second catch of the day. I think one thing that this Northern offense has to do as well as establish the run in the second half is get Fred Wells the ball. This is a guy that has NFL potential. And they only get one reception in the first half is something that they need to build on. That's a first down now at the 37-yard line. Hempel rolls out to the right. He's going for Dan Elmore. Touchdown! Well, if you'll notice this year, they like to roll out the quarterback, Hempel. Hempel's a shorter guy, and unlike Buddy Rivera, last year's quarterback, can't exactly see all over, over those big linemen. Works out well on that play. And this is not the way Northwood wanted to start out the second half. Two quick touchdowns by the Wildcats. No, it's not, big. Temple's first collegiate touchdown this season. Last year, he rushed for one and passed for one. It's very in action. And Leandri will come in to attempt another extra point to extend the lead to 24 to nothing. And it's good. Well, Pete, you established that run on the first drive. Come back with the second drive and establish the pass. Run, running the ball really opens up things for this offense. And right now, the Wildcats have all the momentum in this one. Well, Drew, how is Northwood going to stop this uh, running game now that NMU's passing as well? You know, I, I, I don't think you can really stop Boussois from getting his yards. He's one of the top premier backs in the GLIAC. So I think the first thing you want to do is stop the pass. Brings out the play action. And you can slow Boussois down, but I really don't think they can stop him. Banks and Thomas are back for Northwood. Player to watch, Jared Buss. He's been breaking up kickoffs all day. And here's the return all the way up to looks like the 37 yard line. Tyler Schrauben on the tackle, the receiver. And now Northwood will look to get their offense in gear. Injured player on the play, it looks like number 15, Bryce Rucker, the sophomore free safety. Comes up a little slow limping on the play. Coaches like players. 
Here's Klukowski back under center for Northwood. He hands it off, and it looks like about a nine yard gain for the Timberwolves. If you'll notice, Northern's defense isn't your typical defense. They like to bring these outside rushers, defensive end slash outside linebackers, really bring pressure on that quarterback, and it's worked here today. If Northwood's got any chance, it's going to be up the middle. Ten oh three to go here in the third quarter. And Kukowski goes up to the outside and pitches it back, and he's taken down. Another outstanding play by linebacker Goth here. I'll tell you. Daryl Dunham didn't have anywhere to go on the outside. Had to cut it back in. There was Gothier waiting. It's a great play by number 30, Nick Naval, throwing up the outside. Now it's going to be third down. One to go. Kukowski hands it up. And it looks close. He looks to have the first down. And that'll be enough to pick up the first down by Child. You know, with this offense, that's something that's really hard to stop. It'll get you those short yarded situations, but can they continue to do it up and down the field? Childs, a fumble on the play, and Klukowski looks like he is back on top of it, and Northwood will retain possession. You know, I'm not sure what happened on that play. Klukowski looked like he was handing off to Childs. Childs didn't get the ball, goes forward, and they ended up with a four yard gain on it. 8.25 to go here in the third quarter. Therese Childs lined up in the backfield. Second and seven. Kukowski back to pass, and he hits the receiver. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. You know, that was the first big play that we've really seen out of this Northwood receiving core. I've really been impressed with the young players of the Northern secondary. Quillen Mathis made the catch, the sophomore out of Detroit. Last year, he led the team with 32 catches and set a school record with 13 touchdown receptions which was good for honorable mention all Gleak last season. First and 10 now at the 30 yard line. Running back Jimmy Parsons checks into the game for Northwood. Bukowski out of the shotgun. Completes it back to Mathis again and Mathis is going to the 10. And he's finally taken down. A little bit of a receiver screen on that one. Good for 22 yards. Kukowski looked left, wasn't there, looked right, and good for 22-yard game. Now it's another four, first down for Northwood on the eight-yard line. And NMU calls timeout. Well, they look like they needed a breather. You can see them huffing and puffing out there pretty heavily. You know, a player that I've really seen a lot out of today was the play of sophomore safety, Andrew Strobel, coming up with that big interception in the first drive. And he's filling in for injured safety, Aaron Tillman. On the and I think he's really filled those shoes pretty well. 